what is the origin of violence in this campaign because we have been on this for close to three months when did we see violence entering into the campaign the lawyers in Bamenda in November had their first match peacefully no problem they even finished the match and the president of the lawyers association was giving a speech and thanking the forces of law and uh, of law and order when what happened forces of law and order through tear gas violence began next we saw students in Boya protesting peacefully no student had any act of violence what was the response of our forces of law and order we saw those pictures of those children being systematically not this one video that we are seeing now we saw video upon video upon video of those children being molested by the forces of law and order we saw policemen going into dormitories to take out children who had not been in protest so we should be clear the actor of violence in these movements is government where did we see the most violent where we saw again violence coming in was in bamenda where the young men put uh, stones on the street as we are seeing now in the corner here they put stones on the street why they said we are angry we are protesting do not come here party in power who against whom we are protesting don't come here and flaunt in our faces as if we don't count so we should be clear we have a violent government Government every day in this country violates the rights of its citizens. Even these people who were arrested were arrested illegally. There is a legal process to arrest somebody in Cameroon. When you want to arrest somebody, you come with a warrant of arrest. You would notify the person of why you are arresting them. You do not kidnap them. A state cannot be a state that kidnaps its citizens. And for almost 24 hours, we did not know where those leaders were. Why? Up to today, we have uh, uh, young men from Bamenda who are in Yaoundé. We do not have a list. How many of those young men are under arrest? What have they been charged with? I mean, we should. The, 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 the things are getting to this level because government does not respect the law. And when you have the person who is in charge of the law not respecting the law, you have chaos. You have chaos. And this is what we are getting to. So let us put responsibilities squarely where they are. My party, Cameroon People's Party, we are not for secession. And we have never been, and we have made that point clear. We are not for, uh, 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 even for two-state federalism. We believe that if we want to talk federalism, we must talk about it as a nation and decide how many states we want. Is it two? Is it four? Is it ten? That is a national discussion. To be had that is our position but we believe that if secessionism has increased because our government should not behave as if it is this movement that brought secessionism mm -hmm. secessionists have existed in this country from independence mm -hmm. at the time of independence the vote was 60 40 that means that 40 percent of the people did not want to join french cameroon they were already secessionists there the secessionist movement increased in 1990, if you remember the all Anglophone movements at the time. And when democracy took a left turn in 1992 elections, after uh, 1992, then we had the SCNC that was formed. This was a secessionist movement. So when uh, 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 Mr. Onana is talking about, they saw a flag appear, Mr. Onana, that flag has been existing since the 1990s mm -hmm. these people have been have been uh, 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 calling for for ambazonia since the 1990s that is when it was created and if today they used to be in the anglophone i am an anglophone in in the anglophone community these people were very marginal nobody was listening to them mm -hmm. nobody very few people adhere to what they say but why today do they have audience mm -hmm. why have has their movement grown because of the failure of the government in Yaoundé. Failure to provide water, failure to provide roads, but also failure to manage the reunification process and to make the Anglophone feel that he is a first-class citizen in his country. So the, 
If we have secession list today, it is thanks to the BIA regime, nothing else. Thank you very much, uh, Edith Kabang Uwala. Uh, I'll turn back to you, uh, Evelyn Bome. How do you appreciate?